How's it going guys? Today we're going to be looking at the new Tombstone Assault Rifle build, which is the most powerful weapon in the game right now. By the way, if you're a viewer from a different game, this game is called Dead Frontier 2. It's free to play on Steam. It's an online post-apocalyptic horror survival. Also a looter shooter at endgame with a unique trading and market system, which is completely driven by real players. Alright folks, I'm going to show you the build details and the brand new upgrades added to the game to get the maximum performance out of this weapon. As you can see, even after getting nerfed, it's melting bosses in the blink of an eye even faster than Flowing Rabbit, which used to be the highest DPS weapon in the game. And it was so strong that I even managed to door kill a tanky cultist from the last event, which was a really fun video to make as it was super intense and initially thought to be impossible. I leave the link in the description in case you haven't watched it. I'm going to show you the build. Also, I think my outfit goes well with the new weapon skin. Here's a quick look at the cosmetics. I also got the new Tendril Doll backpack. They finally made it and it looks pretty cute. All right, let's take a look at the build. For my stat stick, I use a Reaper Scythe or a Gore Trimmer, which I personally like better. But thanks to the very generous anniversary event from admin, everyone and their mother crafted a Reaper Scythe or two. As for the main weapon, I've upgraded this one with the compact scope, but I'll be crafting more tombs stone for even better stats and I'm saving a brand new drum magazine for that. Both of these upgrades are solid choices. Regular bosses get one clipped easily so you don't need high ammo capacity for that but the drum magazine along with high ammo capacity plus reload speed gears like the gunslinger set will give you the fastest clear speed for Comer and Sons and for dealing with special bosses and hardcore purple zone challenges. However, the new attachments are super costly right now and I wouldn't suggest using the new compact scope just for 5% more accuracy. But the Howling Pockets is a must have which is an event exclusive craftable upgrade so definitely make some of those as soon as you can. And there are even upgrades for your head and hand items but totally overpriced right now. I'm using the Fright Mask and Fat Man's Mittens for the head and hand items as this is the only setup to reach maximum DPS but like I said Gunslinger Gears will be more effective for special occasions. For my legs and feet items I'm focusing on high walk speed besides sprint and jog. With Gold Trimmer I get over 150% walk speed which is really good for purple zones and solo in Coma 3 boss rooms. For the stats on your body item besides getting health, damage reduction and inventory, prioritize having stun threshold. It's very important for a build like this where you're using Fright Mask or a stat stick with health bonus. Keep in mind you only need 30% stun threshold with any of your gears to reach 7% threshold in your stats which is going to prevent you from flinching from zombie attacks providing you have maximum damage reduction and enough health. It's gonna make the game feel a lot easier. If you're not utilizing stun threshold, you don't know what you're missing out my friend. After threshold, you can prioritize stun recovery. As for the skills, this is a hybrid character for testing builds. So this would be the ideal skill setup. You can pause the video and take a look if you want. I'll be showing you the stats and DPS while talking about the 700 credits giveaway that I'm doing. I actually didn't even touch the game after the last anniversary event. But now that I'm back for the Halloween event, I'm planning to verify the participants and draw the winners when I have the free time, possibly right after the end of this event. So if you haven't joined the giveaway already, you can leave your in-game name in the comment here. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to show some support, leave a like on the video. See you on the next one.